Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to access Wi-Fi information in your Android app. So make sure you create one empty activity Android app and open activity underscore main XML. So inside this, what we're going to do is we're going to add one text view, one button. Okay. So let's add a button set layout width and height to wrap content then we make use of android id then at the rate plus id and then button one okay and also we are going to name android then text equals to let's say get wi-fi info okay now we will also add one text view set it to wrap content and we will use Android ID to let's say text to one okay and we will also set this to the center so Android layout center in parent to true okay now in Android manifest XML you need to add one permission so let's type in users permission Android name and then Android permission access Wi-Fi state okay now close the tag and inside main activity Java let's add private button button then also add text view text view okay now what we're going to do is inside protected void on create we will add button instance to button and then find view by id r id and then button one okay then text view Then text view our ID dot text one. Okay, we also need to set few things here. So we will declare that at the top, which is Wi Fi Manager and then Wi Fi Manager. Okay, and another is Wi Fi Info, and for that. We will use string connection okay so these two things we are going to set up and now inside our button click action we will use button dot set on click listener then new view on click listener and then public void on click and then view arc zero okay and here what we're going to do is we're going to use wi-fi manager equals to wi-fi manager let's choose from here then get system service and then use context and here find wi-fi service Okay, so context dot where is W Wi Fi service? Okay, so we got our Wi Fi manager ready and then connection equals to we have to find Wi Fi manager dot get connection info. Okay, so we have these two things ready. What we're gonna do is we will use one string so for that we will just use one string string display and we're going to use that string here to display some of the wi-fi properties so string displays plus equals to and here i'm going to use ssid okay so plus connection dot option 
dot get it ssid okay so if you want to also use rssi then you have to use get rssi so all those methods are there so if you just use dot then you get the id for ssid then also rssi okay so let's start one by one we will use slash n in between so that we can concatenate properly let's see i want to get rssi and that can be with plus connection dot get rssi okay then plus again and here we are gonna check for MAC address and then we're gonna call for connection dot get MAC address okay okay I'm also going to add slash n and then plus okay so we got our plus here so everything looks good we got ssid then rssi then mac address make sure you have slash in in between each one of them so that string doesn't get overlapped okay and then finally what you have to do is you have to use text view dot set text and then use display here okay so when the click happens it should display this string here that contains the information about wi-fi okay now i'm gonna run this in emulator i have to select the deployment target click on ok and wait for it to appear on emulator Okay, so the app is now loaded. It should show me that button for getting Wi-Fi info. So if I click on this, it should show me the text view that contains the following details. Okay, so I'm gonna click on it. And as you can see at the center, I get null value for SSID. RSSI shows 127 and MAC address is also some random string, but if you test this code on your real device you will be able to get pretty much real details depending on which wi-fi you are connected to these details will be different there are many other things that you can collect with the connection from your wi-fi manager and wi-fi info okay so this was a short video on how to get your wi-fi details in Android.